Hello everyone, very good morning and in this session we are going to learn about the unique secondary index versus non-unique secondary index while creating the secondary index on database table. So let's uh, go and directly discuss. But before going ahead, let me give you a basic overview. What is this actually? See, when we create the index, you know, that means the secondary index on any database table through SC11, you get the two options, non-unique index and unique index. So here, for example, if you have selected the unique index and if uh, these three fields are selected, that means the combination of these three fields must be unique. That means the records which you are inserting, they are the value of these fields combination must be unique. It should not be duplicate. If it is duplicate, it will, you know, the, the table means either uh, it means it will not allow basically you know if this is the selection happens if you have chosen this one then duplicate entry it will allow that's the meaning because it's a non-unique index you know so this is the basic idea behind it let me demonstrate it so go to this particular sc11 here you can see that this is a transparent table which we have and uh, now fine so click on this index and i'm going to create one index quickly over here z i z i1 click on this ok button and uh, non unique index first i'm showing you the non unique index this is the first option <coughs> i'm selecting and here table fields select the mandate is important to select mandate and then name and then bank code remember name and bank code i'm selecting it over here so the combination of name and bank code uh, can be duplicate you know the value which which will be inserting that can be duplicate also check this and click on this activate button it got activated just go back and select this one click on this activate uh, just to go back and now Come here and click on this activate on this particular uh, table okay now come here and uh, we have created you know <clears throat> uh, we have created the second index on what see here we have created the secondary index on name and bank code so come here and uh, give this is the primary key field so we have to give unique always this one right a name and bank code so beneficiary name we can give pankaj uh, kumar and the bank code may be b a n c 01 bank code 01 right and again click on this plus button again here i'm giving the debit account number two here pankaj kumar and the bank code 01 here, if you can observe this, this combination of this Pankaj Kumar and Bank 01, Pankaj Kumar and Bank 01 is non-unique. That means duplicate. So still, it's uh, not going to. Fine. So it's it's not creating any problem. If you click on this save button, it's uh, you know it's uh, uh, getting inserted, right? You can click on this button. You can see that it got successfully inserted, right? so now let's go and check the second scenario with the unique index click on this create button and this time zi2 i'm going to create click on this ok button and non unique index demo uh, non unique already i have shown you unique index okay i'm going to select this unique index see here table fields we can select mandate first time i have selected name and bank code this time i'm going to select you know name and account just save this one just save check the syntax click on this activate uh, button just to go back go back and here you know we 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 are going to check this and click on this activate it's giving some error right you can see that it's giving some Error. why it's giving this error right so 
it is not getting activated what can be the reason behind this okay so let's try to understand this click on this indexes once again and uh, here the unique index right which we have just created check it you know activate this you know there is no problem so here name and account combination so go and check the data okay name and account so this Pankaj Kumar and Pankaj Kumar, right? You can see that both is same actually. So name and account, account is blank over here, right? So Pankaj Kumar and blank, Pankaj Kumar and blank, you know, it's the combination of both what it is going to be, you know, duplicate because it's duplicate. That's why it's not allowing. So in order to see, so it's, it's not allowing to activate you, right? It's not allowing to activate you see here once again I'm going to show it is giving the error so how you can avoid this error you know you will have to go and make the unique Pankaj Kumar and account combination should be unique so I'm just giving some account number 001 over here and I'm going to save this okay and now if you go and activate the table it will allow you to activate why because the combination of Pankaj Kumar and account one Pankaj Kumar account none is now unique it's not duplicate now so come here and try to activate okay and you can see that it got activated so this is the meaning of you know uh, uh, the unique index basically right so name and account combination should not be same it should be unique okay so let's go and create some unique record so plus plus and here again you know so han and give some you know three and here four this must be like different because the primary key right so han mohan and here you can give two here you can give three right and you can click on this uh, save button it got successfully you know inserted and here also like if you come back right and click on this you know activate there is no problem it's working fine but but you just assume that like if you uh, try to insert one more record with this Sohan and the same account ID will it uh, will it insert you know just check it click on this save button and you can see that a data record with the specified key already exist what it is telling a data record with the specified key already existing right so Sohan and two because with the same like if you give the five also over here right uh, primary key value I'm giving uh, differently and now also like if you click on the save button you can see that a data record with a specified key already exists why it's telling because the combination of the Sohan and two and the combination of the Sohan and two it is same right so it's not uh, unique basic uh, it's not unique basically and uh, that's why it's not allowing us right so you must have to you know uh, give the different account number and now if you click on the save button it will allow to you know uh, you see that now if you if you it means it's a data record with a specified key all digs again it's showing why uh, let's check it out five to three right so on five and so on two we are giving now okay let's go back go back and run this okay and freshly freshly like just come here and give this five over here and give Sohan once again and uh, give this uh, here maybe four right so combination of Sohan and uh, account Sohan and account Sohan four Sohan two is fine now and this time it will not stop you click on this save and you can see that it's not stopping got inserted uh, perfectly so hope you understood what is the meaning of uh, unique second index and what is the meaning of non-unique second index thank you for watching